So you'll want to know your way around this website. So let me show you the website. Uh, the link to the website is on the syllabus that I sent to you in the email. Uh, so once you find the website, if you lose the syllabus, if you lose my email address, you can link to my email here. You can get another copy of the syllabus here. There's our textbook in case you're looking for it. It's got these I don't know, guys riding long skateboards going down a hill on it. Uh, on here, you'll find not only the syllabus, but you'll also find the course schedule. This has it laid out for you every day of the semester, how to do this, what to do, what days, so you'll be ready to take the tests and the quizzes all before the semester, before the course ends. If you want to do this in a, in a shortened version, during true summer one, so that you can take a different course in summer two, that's fine. You'll have to make your own schedule for that. You can take the one that I've got laid out here for you and smash it down if you want. Um, but this is laid out for the regular nine and a half weeks uh, that I have set up. Here's a link to WebAssign. This is where you can go and have access to your homework and your quizzes and your tests. This is, you will go to WebAssign a lot this semester. You will be there a lot. This is where you learn physics. Not WebAssign, but practicing the problems. Doing the homework is how you learn physics. Reading the textbook is useful. Watching the lectures is very useful, but doing the homework is where it finally sinks in. That's where you're going to learn it. That's where you're going to gain the understanding that is so necessary for this class. Let me give you an example. When I taught Samuel how to swim, here's what I said. Samuel's my son, by the way. And, and I said, Samuel, here's the way you do this. Stand on the side of the pool, and when you jump in, you're going to swing your arms like this, and you're going to kick your legs like this, okay? And that's going to propel you across the pool. It'll be great. It's lots of fun. And, and I said, do you understand that, Samuel? And he said, uh-huh. And so I said, okay, jump in. And so he jumped in. What do you think he did? He went, and sank to the bottom, and I had to jump down and grab him and pull him up, okay? This is what I'm going to do with you in this class. I'm going to get up here on the board, and I'm going to write things up on the board, and I'm going to show you this is how you do physics, just like this, and it's going to look really easy when I do it because I know what I'm doing. It should look easy, okay? It's going to look really easy. And you're going to say, yeah, I got that. I understand. But doing the homework on WebAssign, this is you jumping in the pool. This is how you actually do the learning. You will struggle. You will get stuck. You will go there and go, ah, oh, I don't know where to start. That's the struggle. If you don't struggle, you won't learn it. You've got to do it. Just like swimming, you've got to jump in the first time, and that first time you're going to struggle, you're going to flounder. And that's when somebody else has to jump in and pull you up and say, no, not quite like that, it's a little bit more like this. That's why we have study sessions. So with this class also are study sessions. I've got them already scheduled, they're here on the, on the class website. <clears throat> they're all laid out right here as to what time and where, or I'm sorry, what time you, the, the study sessions happen. Um, they're also on this course schedule, so if you're following this course schedule, it'll tell you when the um, study sessions are. Now you might ask, how are we going to do a study session? How are you going to jump into the pool and pull me out if I'm not even there? Because you're in Timbuktu and I'm here in Clinton. Well, here's how this works. We're going to use Google Hangouts. Google Hangouts is a great way to have a bunch of people video chat simultaneously. and so. Uh, we'll all get on Google Hangouts and you can ask me your questions and I'll be up here and I'll work out the problem on the board with you and we'll talk about it as we go and that'll help you, that'll be the me jumping in the pool showing you how to do it sort of thing, okay? So there's going to be, a, I think there's 14 of them scheduled this semester so we'll have plenty of time, each one is an hour and a half, we'll have plenty of time to work through problems and talk through this and this is where the real learning happens. Don't come to those study sessions unprepared. Don't come in not having looked at the homework, just hoping that I'll show you how to do it. You've got to struggle first. Just try your homework and know what it is you don't know. And then when you come to the study session, ask questions. This is the best way to learn. If, on the other hand, you come to the study session and haven't tried any of the homework, guess what? When I tell you how to do it, it's not going to sink in. You don't know what it is you don't know, so you don't know what it is you're looking for. And so when I tell you what you're looking for, you won't know. It will, it'll just go in one ear and out the other. 
Okay, so you've got to try it before you come to the study sessions. Okay, uh, so anyway, there, there you go. So that's, um, by the way, with that, you've got to have access to a computer that has a camera on it. Uh, you've got to do that for the Proctor, for the Proctor U as well. Um, if you, and I think everybody's got one of those fancy cell phones now with a little camera on it. Uh, that'll work too. Uh, there, there's several different options for this. You can go to the library and do this. Uh, so there you go. That's, that's the best way to do this course. If you don't have a camera enabled computer, you can get cameras pretty cheap on eBay and Amazon and mount it to your computer. The, the software is readily available for it. Um, so, so there you go. That, that's probably the best way to do this course. If not, um, I'll be here in Clinton. You can come to the study sessions here. Just let me know and I'll tell you where I'll be filming them. Some of them will be here on, on PC's campus. Some of them will be at my house, but nonetheless, it will be a, a regular study session and the bulk of the students will right, be there virtual, but my son Samuel will be sitting there behind the camera recording the whole thing. Um, and so, uh, with that said, if you're working during the study session, you can't make it to the study session, well, that's okay. I'm going to record all the study sessions and post them right here on my website. So after, so if you notice, it says study session reruns and there's a big blank space. That's because that's where I'm going to post the study sessions. When, after we do a study session, I'll post it up here with a link and it'll be on YouTube like usual. And you can link to it and you can watch that study session even though you weren't there. And you can pick up that information. This is very useful because a lot of times um, if one student has a question, about 15 other people also have that same question. So it's, it's very useful to everybody. And also, even if you were there and you asked the question and you didn't catch what I said, you can watch the rerun and catch it the second time around. Um, with that said, watching these videos is a really nice thing about online physics because that pause button is so useful. That and the rewind button. You can rewind and watch again and pause and think about and let it sink in. You're going to have to make ample use of that pause button and that rewind button on all these videos. There's a lot of them. You've got a lot of information to learn. And that tool is going to be very useful to you. Um, let's see what else is up here. Uh, these two things here, the conversion sheet and the equation sheet, these are fair game for your quizzes, tests, and final exam. Okay? You can use these on those things. Quizzes, tests, final exam. You can use them. Take them with you. But don't write on them. They've got to be clean, just print. Okay? So no handwritten notes on there. The proctors will know that as well. So these, you, you got to do that on your own. Uh, with your homework, by the way, that's wide open. Uh, it's, it's open everything. Open textbook, open me, open web, open whatever. Just get the homework done. But you got to remember, your goal here with doing the homework is to learn the information. This is how you learn to swim. If you don't struggle, you won't learn it. You've got to struggle. I promise, it's the only way to do it. One more thing. On here it is, uh, sorry, two more things. Gray calculator. Let me show you what that is. Um, pull it over here to the screen. This is what the grade calculator looks like. It's an Excel spreadsheet, and uh, it will help you calculate your grade. So if you notice down at the bottom here, there's some tabs. You see there's a tab right here. It says homework and quizzes. So let me click on that tab and I'll show you how that works. Click on this tab right there and you can enter your grades in here. Okay, it will calculate your grade for me. You won't have to email me and say, Dr. Rodicor, what's my grade? Because you can figure it out. It's right here. So uh, I've entered some numbers in here already. I'll enter a couple more just so you can see how it works. Um, how many points did you earn? Let's see. Like here, let's say there was, uh, how many possible points were there? Let's say there was 55 possible points. Oh, 55 possible points, and you earned uh, 48 of them. Okay? So there you go. And you get that, those numbers right off of WebAssign. Okay? It'll tell you what your score is on WebAssign. Um, this is for homework. By the way, WebAssign is great. It gives you four chances per homework problem. Four chances. So you plug the first number in, completely wrong. But guess what? It'll give you hints. It'll say, oh, you're getting close. Or um, it'll say within 10%, that means you're getting close. 
or it'll say check your sign, which probably means your answer was negative and it should have been positive, or vice versa. It'll give you little hints, or it might say if you have if you plug in an answer that's a common mistake, it'll recognize that answer and it'll say, oh, I bet you did this. Try thinking about this, and it'll tell you what to think about in order. It's a very useful tool. Okay, so it'll help guide your homework. Okay, but anyway, when you get done, it'll tell you your scores, and you can enter those in there. And then on the quizzes that are also on Web Assign, all the quizzes are going to be worth 10 points. Now with that said, every now and then, I'll have some bonus points available, and you can get up to 12 points. So uh, let's say you got 9 points on the first quiz and 12 points on the second quiz. You're doing good if you've got that score. Okay? So, uh, so this is where you enter your quizzes and your homeworks. Okay? And then you can click back over here to the next page, the next tab here. This is called Calculator. Click on that. And uh, so click right there, and it will tell you your grades so far for all your homeworks and your quizzes based on what you entered on the previous page. It will tell you your average right down here for your homeworks and your quizzes. Okay? Then you enter your test grades, and then you say, I want to get uh, whatever, a, a C in this course. Okay? I just wrote C there, but we can change it in a minute. Say you want to get a C in the course. Okay? Well, it says, first of all, your current grade in class is a 92.9. That's an A doing good. And it says if you want to end up with a C in the course, well guess what? You only have to get a 15% on the final exam and you'll get a C. And you're thinking, yeah, I don't even have to study to get a 15%. Okay, so this is, this is how you do it. But what if I want to get an A on the final exam? So let's see, I'm going to change this to an A. It'll say, oh, you've got to get an 81.6 on the final exam to get an A in the course. So there you go. This takes all the guesswork out of it for you. Now, a lot of students do this. About mid-semester, they want to start figuring out their grades, and they'll pull up their grade calculator and say, Dr. Rudicor, it won't work for me. And here's what they're doing. They're on this calculator tab, and they're over here trying to tell it, my homework grade here was a 67. And what it does, and it popped up on this screen, because I've got the split screen right now, but an error message pops up, and it says, this cell is protected. You can't type anything in there. Well, that's because you're not supposed to type anything here. You're supposed to type it on the previous tab. So I've got all the cells protected except the ones that you can enter things on. So um, that way you won't mess up the calculations. It'll give you the right answer every time. So there you go. This great calculator is very useful to you. So let me get that off and show you the next thing. Okay, that's your great calculator. Uh, Proctor form. If you want to use somebody other than me and somebody other than Proctor U to proctor your test, you've got to show them this Proctor form. Okay? You've got to have them sign it when you take the test. It, it, it has very careful instructions on it. You read it, you'll see what I'm talking about. It'll tell you what to do with it. If you want to use Proctor U, this is a great option. This is the site that they've set up for this class. So watch that site, it'll tell you what to do. Go to the site, it'll tell you how to do it, what to do, and everything you need to know. And here's the details. This is a PDF document. It'll show you the details of what goes on, goes on with this. Okay? Um, let's, last thing down here. Uh, where's my Also on this website is all the videos for the whole semester. They're all up there. They're all pre-recorded, and you can watch the whole thing. Okay, so it's all here. You can start watching any of it anytime you want. Um, I've given you instructions in the course schedule as to when to do what, and it's all set up for you. Um, also, in these lectures, I have a PowerPoint presentation that I can go through it. You can print off those PowerPoint presentations in PDF form ahead of time. This will make your life easier as you're watching these videos because you'll have these PowerPoints there, and you can follow along and take notes as you go, and that's probably an easy way to do it. Okay, that's probably going to be the easiest way for you to watch these videos is to print these slides off ahead of time and then watch the video as you go and take notes on those slides. Okay? Uh, there you go. That's all the information that you need at this point.